What's going on, guys? Blaze42711 back with another review. And today I'm reviewing Hingham Hill Scorpion Bowl. The milligrams for nicotine on this is 6 milligram. I believe they go from 0 to 12. So for all you 12 nickers out there, you should be able to get this in 12, no problem. The born date on this was September 13th. Two thousand sixteen. And then just like the one that I did yesterday, it has the warning uh may contain nicotine, keep out of the reach of children, made in the US. It tells you the ingredients. And that's pretty much all for the label. So let's dive down into this and do the smell. Vape on it. Oh wow, this smells really good. I'm smelling pineapple, oranges, mango. I think there's a little bit of pear in there. I think I'm smelling pear. And I can't tell what the other ones are. But there's more exotic flavors in here as well. You got your pineapple, your orange, your mango. I think there's a little bit of pear in there. And then some other exotic fruits and everything in here this is pretty much just like the the drink that you get when you go to like an Asian or Chinese restaurant you order a scorpion bowl and they throw everything into it this is pretty much what this is supposed to taste like but without the alcohol in it I've never had a scorpion bowl so I don't really know what they taste like but I hear they're really good um so I'm going to do the best of my knowledge to review this. So, out of the smell, I would give it about a four and a half out of five. It smelled like everything that it says for the flavor profile is, it smells like it's in there. For the flavor profile, it says that it's a, uh, Scorpion bowl like you get at an Asian restaurant without the alcohol and it has pineapple, oranges, and other exotic fruits in there. When I smell that, I end up smelling the pineapple right away. I end up smelling the orange. I end up smelling mango in there. Mango has that kind of like that sweet smell. I smell that in there. And I smell a little bit of pears in there and some others that I can't really put my finger on what they are. So, let's take a vape and see if it tastes the same way. Find out what flavors you taste. What flavors you don't. Oh, that smells good. That smells really good. You can definitely smell that pineapple right away. Hmm. It's pretty good.
All right. All right. On the inhale, you're tasting, well, on the inhale, I taste um, the pineapple right up front. And then you taste a little bit of the orange and mango. And a little bit of, I think it's pear. On the exhale, you taste all three of them a little bit more pineapple than the other two but it's a good mixture when on the exhale and you can taste all three of them at the same time it's really good <laughs> Someone told me, I think it was from the company, because I ended up actually emailing them to find out how much, what the VG, PG ratio was on this. They told me it's, uh, well, it's high VG blend. So, they told me that it was 70 VG, 30 PG. But I've been seeing other people in online saying that it's 6040 the website that I put into my description on my video yesterday for the gobstomper the VGPG said that it was 6040 but I don't know if it's 6040 because the, the company itself when I emailed them they wrote back to me and told me that it was 7030 so I don't know if maybe someone uh, wasn't too sure or someone gave him the wrong information or if the website that has the gobstomper just put down 6040 or, or put that down by accident or what the case is. But this kind of looks like you can actually let me see if I can get this in camera view here though hang on let's try it this way oh. when you tip it up it kind of looks like uh, 7030 but it, it's possible that it could be 6040 either way it tastes good it tastes really good and you get uh, a good amount of clouds off of it. I mean, you, you get good cloud production off of it, and you, you get, you can taste all the fruits that are in it. it I mean, it, it's a really enjoyable vape. If you're into like the the fruity ones like uh, with the mango and the pineapple orange like the citrus fruits like if you're into the citrus fruit vapes this one would be for you if you're one that don't really like it but have it here and there you still might like it but for those that don't like the citrus fruits and try to stay tries to stay away from it this one isn't for you because you could act you can definitely tell and taste the orange the mango the pineapple um like I said I'm tasting a little bit of the pear that a little bit of pear but I'm not a hundred percent it's been a long time since I've had pear but I'm about 50 50 percent sure that there's pear in there
And like I said, you got really good cloud production off of it. So whether it's 60, 40, 70, 30, you get good cloud production. You can taste exactly what the profile says on it. And it, it's good. For the vapor production, I'd give it about a about a three out of five. I mean, you get good cloud production, but it's not like those really, uh, really, really dense clouds like you would get out of an eighty twenty uh, VG PG ratio. But the clouds are definitely there, as you can see. as you can see but and the taste I would give it about a four and a half out of five so overall I would recommend this to people that like the citrus juice juices if you don't like the citrus juices you m probably won't like this I mean you can always give it a try um, Anyone in Massachusetts, um, if you live close to Auburn, you can always go down to Bay State Vapor. They have this down there for a 30 mil bottle. I think it's like $16, maybe $17 for a 30 mil. It's, I mean, it's kind of a little steep, but it's, it's worth it. Um, I haven't found anyone any website online that carries this juice but what I'll do is I'll leave the description the, in the description I'll leave the official website for this company on there that lists all their juices you can go through you can actually check it out they actually have the flavor profiles on there if you scroll all the way down to the bottom and uh, it says where to purchase it lists the states that they actually carry this or their juices in and um, it lists the vape shops that carry them if you click over on the online it gives you a website the same website that I had put in yesterday's video to the gob stomper but they don't have the scorpion bowl on now they have uh, a good selection of juices on there but not the scorpion bowl so if you can find it definitely try it it's worth it if you're into citrus vapes um thank you for watching I want to thank all of the supporters that have been watching my videos and commenting, all the subscribers that uh, subscribed to me. Last time I checked, I think I have like 19, so thank you for that. Um, I'll do my best to review these juices to the best of my ability and keep it 100 with you, like I always do. And sometime down the road, when I get a good camera, instead of working off my laptop, uh, webcam, I want to start trying to review mods and RDAs and stuff like that. But it's kind of hard to actually review them and put a build in and everything else with a web using a webcam because you actually have to sit there and try to angle that down and it's better to have a camera to just point down so you can just jump down below and you can actually just do all your work there and you can see everything but that will come at a later time <laughs> till next time blaze42711 thank you for watching don't forget to 
hit the like button, the thumbs up, subscribe down below if you haven't, and leave a comment. Let me know if you enjoyed the video or not. Till next time, vape on, keep on vaping, and I'll catch you on the next one.